Today we are going to be attempting what I'm going to call the Moneyball Draft. I'm not sure how many of you have seen the movie Moneyball. It is very good. In fact, I think the Oakland A's are actually moving now. They're going to Vegas, if I'm not mistaken. In my opinion, it's a great movie. And today we got a comment that sort of inspired me to come up with this idea. The comment was to do a $5 million salary draft. So basically all the players have to be making $5 million and... Yeah, I mean, it would be cool, but we'd also have to up the salary cap for that one or go over it, which you know I do not like to do. So I was going to do a draft where players made between like three to four million because that way we could sign all 20 players and be within the cap. Because if you wanted all players to be making the exact same amount of money, the math equates to 4.1 million. So yeah, we would draft somewhere between three to 4.1 for all the players. And that way they'd all have that close proximity of contracts. But instead I decided I wanted to try this draft. And for this draft, I am going to lower the salary cap because our owner does not want to spend a lot of money. I always turn owner mode off, obviously. And I mean, we're not going to leave it on this time either, but it's sort of like a fabricated owner. I went over to the left side this time. Let's find out which team we're going to be using. Why'd that not work? Oh, there we go. Winnipeg. Wait a minute. Did I land on Pittsburgh? Is that why I didn't see anything go or did the button not work? Hmm. I think I'm going to give the game the benefit of the doubt and say that I just got Pittsburgh. So sorry, Winnipeg. But I remember there's a comment saying not to use Washington when you random because then you can't get Washington. But I have had that happen before, and I think it just happened right there, and it didn't click till right now. So we're gonna use Pity. We meet again, Custom League. It's been quite a while. Once more, and you know what? I am back to change some settings. The minimum salary cap is 60 million. So I'm gonna down that all the way to 40, and that's gonna be our goal. We gotta try and hit that minimum. It puts the teams in the right divisions, but it doesn't name them. And I don't like that. I feel like I'm supposed to put division after it, and I'm just simply not going to do that for all of them. Any of them, as a matter of fact. I absolutely could have just left these as they were. The Easter! <laughs> now I'm leaving it like that. My brain just shut down when I started talking. So we're going with the Easter division. Fantasy draft will be on. Kind of the whole point that we're doing here. Owner mode off. Although, again, we have sort of like a imaginary owner that is very strict about the salary. Head coach, headed lines. Jabroni. New. Fog of War, I'll leave that off as well. I think that's it then. We'll just leave CPU trades and Fantasy Draft on. Yeah. My goal for this team is just to not finish last. No, that's a little extreme. Okay, I want to finish in the top 20. At least that's what the owner told me. So I guess that's my job. Because of our constraints, I kind of hope we get a really late pick. But I don't think we will. This is going to be the time we get an early pick. So I'm going to say we get pick number 5. Or something like that. Here we go. Moment of truth. We get... Right down the middle. Interesting. Very interesting. So, there is one player I'm going to pick that might be a little bit controversial. Well, maybe not. His new contract doesn't kick in till next year. So, Tage will be joining our team at 91 overall. How about that? Chicago and Arizona are paying half your salary. Actually, no. They're paying 75% of your salary to play against them. How does that make you feel? Samsonov at 1.8 is extremely tempting. Do you think he'll go this round? He is 25, so I'd say he's more likely to go, but Katahad hasn't even gone yet. Neither is Jakey O. What is up? Troy Terry, chef's kiss on this one. 1 1.4, and he is 87 overall, and he is a Pittsburgh Penguin. Another phenomenal contract for us in Patrice Bergeron. 2.5 million, and just like that, he is your newest pity pen. Sammy's still here. And then we have some other decent options here as well. Okay. Wow, all right, this money ball draft is going pretty well. Honestly, at this point, this might as well be like the cap retention draft. We're just finding players who are having their salaries paid by other teams. So Dmitry Orlov would be a pity pen, just like that. David Krejci is 1000% joining this team, just not yet. I will get to him, don't worry. This guy's been a stud in the playoffs so far. He's making 2.25, which isn't bad. 84 overall. Another center, but slash left wing, which is good because I think we need a left winger. We do. All right, Barbashev, let's get it done. And at 2.3, Bertuzzi will also be joining our squadron. He's got some abilities too. Fire me up. Oh dear. I left goalies too long. That's on me. I hate to see it. Two million's not bad. I'm pretty sure he gloves right as well. So maybe it could throw people off. Yeah. How about that? All right, Pavel. 
I need you to step up here. I shall wait no longer. The man, the myth, the legend, David, joining our team. I really like the way we're looking right now. I can't lie. Bunts making 950k. Add some grit to the team. For sure. How can you say no to that? I do need to draft some defensemen real soon, however. This could be our first big contract, but I think we've done good enough so far that we can afford to do it. So I'm going to take on Jeff Petrie. Yeah, he's a right-handed defender. We already have a left-handed defender, so that works out nice. Our top pair is not bad. I'm going to take Alex Lyon as our backup. Again, he probably won't be drafted soon, but whatever. We're only at 24 million. I feel like I almost should have put the salary cap lower. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Intimidator. Luke Shen, 82 overall, 850k, scoop him up. Threes may or may not be another right-handed defender. I know he's not threes anymore, but he was threes in our Be A Pro. Anyway, 1.8 million, we need two left-handed defenders. I think we can pull it off. 27 million, we have 14 players, okay. So you know what? I feel like we probably will get there kind of fast. 1.5 seems really good to me. Uh, the owner approves. Just spoke to him about it. Connor Sherry, let's do it. And then we have Leller. He might be a centerman. Yeah, you raise a very good point. But you didn't ask me if I care. Because I don't. And at 1 million dollaronis, I will not say no to this former capital. Bill the Thrill, hot dog, cheeseburger, call him whatever you want. But this man is a multi Stanley Cup champion. Actually, when I'm recording this, the Golden Knights could win tonight, and that would make him a three-time Stanley Cup champion. Right now, he's got two, which is still insane. He might be in the press box for this one, but it doesn't matter. Phil will be joining Pittsburgh. Another defensive defenseman, you say. Six foot five, four and a half star physicality, Joel Edmondson is a wonderful player to draft right now, so I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I said it yet, or if I was just thinking it and never actually put it out there in the world, but worst case Ontario, if we don't end up going to the 41 million, it'll just adjust the contracts to be up there anyway, so we should be mint. I feel like I've been drafting this guy non-stop recently, and I'm also not stopping right now. Two-way defender, 83 overall, making less than a milli. Giordano will be the newest member of our Stanley Cup winning team. Are you kidding me? Have you seen our roster? Do we have the best goalie in the world? No. They'll get it done though, I believe. I know what we have to do for this pick. Yep, uh-huh. Okay, yep, owner approves. Let's do it! And with this selection, we pretty much hit the 41 million right on the head. Milan Lucic is our final selection of the draft. I can't wait to see what this team looks like. So here you go. We've got Tage Thompson, Patrick Kane, and Troy Terry. This went way better than I thought it would. Our second line is going to be gross too. We got Krejci as like a third line center. Just give us the cup now. What are we even doing? A lot of our players had abilities too, no? Well, the forwards did anyway. Defensively, we're lacking in that department. But I think we should get some good chemistry on our offense. Let's find out. Here we go. Please be decent. Plus five on the first line. Things you absolutely love to see. Okay, I'm going to do a head coach best line so we get a plus five. And then we get a plus one. They want... No. Absolutely not. That is unbelievable that you would even try that. Fill the thrill up on the first line. I might be okay with that. If I try to move Bunting or Barbashev up, it gets rid of the plus five. What if I do that? But then we don't get a plus one on the second line. I'm very tempted to just leave it. And what can we do? I mean, it is roll three lines. What if I move Bunts down? Okay, there we go. We've got... Two zeros, and our defensive chemistry is terrible. Nice. Well, I like what I see here, so that's nice. Defensively, we might have to make some moves. What can we do? Oh, at least that gets a plus two. That evens it out, so would I rather... Hmm. What can I do here? Maybe I'll just move these guys up so that we get all zeros. Or should I... It's roll all pairings. I could do plus two and dash one. Yeah, let's risk it for the biscuit. Last but not least, our netminders. We got Pavel and Alex. Yeah, they could do well. Come on. I believe in you guys. Patrick Kane gets the most points with 87. And we... Actually, you know what? 88. Jersey number. Gotta do it. And I'm gonna say the team gets 45 wins. We are in the playoffs. And I think we go on a run. Call me crazy. If I move Lucic up here, that zero moves up a little bit. And Shiri is... Oh no, he's left wing slash right wing. Well, it's still tempting. What if I do that instead? Okay. 
Yeah, I could run with that. It's about that time. Let's get to the calendar and see if this team can rip it up. Yep, there you can see we are just above the salary cap. Beautiful. Nailed it. I could try to make some deadline moves, you know? Do some Billy Bean action up in here. 5-2-0, and oh, we started off the season rough, and then we bounced back with five straight wins, only to lose three in a row. Nice! Okay, well, thought we were gonna go on a bit of a run there. That was premature, I apologize. Am I gonna have to edit the lines here? What are you guys doing? Okay, it appears as though that empty threat motivated them, because we are on a roll right now. Second in the division, 5 nothing win over the Wild. Overtime losses, you already know, I'll take those all day long. Not a single complaint is coming out of my oral orifice. The Columbus Blue Jackets have fired Jonathan Galchenyuk. I'm going to dismiss, actually I'll just hit okay, I don't know why I would do never show again, because I want to see if other coaches get canned. We lost three games in a row up there, and then we went to win four straight. Now we're on a one game losing streak, make it two. Those are pretty bad losses too, nice, okay. Big bounce back win against the jerks. The league thought we were a joke and here we are first in the Metropolitan Division with 37 wins come trade deadline. Am I gonna make any moves? Probably not, no, I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'll go with conservative buyer, yeah, that makes sense. Enter the deadline, what players do we got here? Am I able to, uh, what is that? No, no, I didn't approve of this. David Krejci's on the block as well. Well, whoever did that's fired. Ryan O'Reilly's making 1.8 and he is 87 overall. This is an opportunity if I've ever seen one. No! No, the Colorado Avalanche beat me to the punch. I was cooking something up. Unbelievable. All right, well, maybe we're done here then. Y'all got any good players making nothing? I would if it wasn't for that trade value. Okay, before I do anything drastic, I gotta see what's going on here. He only has a 903. Yeah, it's not been good goaltender-wise, so I think we could use an improvement in the cage. Gustafson's a one overall improvement. We'd also be going down in money, so the owner's gonna be ecstatic about this one. I'll throw Bull Duke in there as well, but I need something back, guys. Something. I could be pushing my luck here, but I'm gonna try going for Grant as well as a fourth rounder. Yeah, there's no way this goes through. However, I'm gonna try it. No. What if I get rid of the fourth? Let's try that. Trade accepted. Okay, we improved our goalie by one. Wait, what? How's that a dash one again? Oh, I guess we made the trade and they edited our lines. So I am going to undo that real quick. You're going over there. You're coming down here. Shiri is going up and we are back to where we started. Is Phil doing well? He's got, he's got 50 points in 63 games. That's pretty good. But first liner though. Ooh, that second line's killing it. All right, I'm gonna try to beef up that first line a little bit more. I know we've been doing well. If things start going south, I will undo the changes in a heartbeat. But for now, I think I wanna try running this. I'll leave Kessel there. So we have a second line sniper now with two two-way forwards. And then we've got Hattie Kane over here who shoots left. He's a right winger, but he shoots left. Tage in the middle and then Troy Terry. Okay, yeah, I like it. I like it. Defensively, I think I just gotta do this again and get all zeros or no we had it like this right because I had the plus two in the dash one so yeah we'll leave that and then in net we now have Philip Gustafson who has a 907 he's doing slightly better post trade deadline here we come all right I absolutely take that that is three points off the hop there but now we can't win a game to save our lives okay nice the jerks huge W what are we doing why does this always happen I don't understand okay nice three game winning streak sends Shootout loss, that's fine. Avoid regulation losses, please. I'm using manners here. Love it, love it. Okay, so we're definitely in. And can we get the 47th win? No, we cannot. But we're in the playoffs nonetheless. We finished second in the division. Roe just barely putting us below New Jersey. And the Islanders here, our first round opponent. Let's see what we're going up against. They got Steven playing with Evander Kane and Will Nye the hockey guy. It's a good first line. They got Jari and Blackwood, so two good goalies. Kale McCarr playing with Fowler. They got Soup on the second line, Matt Duchesne, Hartman. They have a good team. Yeah, it's going to be tough. So yeah, these are definitely supposed to have division on the end. Don't really care that I didn't do it though. Sort of like the way it looks. The Ottawa Senators are your President's Trophy winners. They got Nuge playing with Philip Forsberg and Olafson. Interesting. Okay. Adam Fox playing with Dylan. Domi Kadri Quinn. That is a nasty second line. They drafted Katahat. Things you hate to see. 16, 17, 18, 19. All don't qualify, but the 20th place San Jose Sharks with 86 points on the season. 
managed to get in. Absolutely astounding. The only team to fire their coach this year. Let's see what their roster consists of. They got Rupe playing with Panarin and Boldy. That's a really good first line. Howden, Reinhardt, and Pajot. I mean, that's not terrible. They definitely plan for the future. They ended up taking Samsonov, so grabbed him from us, unfortunately. So I no longer feel bad that you're last. Do they really have EK65 on the second defensive pair? Yeah, you guys absolutely deserve to be last place. What an awful call. Didn't get as many points as I was thinking we were going to, but still 79 from Kane. We got 79 from Patrice, 74 from Tage and Terry, and then Bird up there with 71. That's good too. Cheeseburger Hot Dog got 63. David Krejci did not have a good time. Interesting. Gus ended up staying at a 907. Lion, however, dropped below his 900. Still had a winning record though, or I guess an even record. Logan Thompson, the guy I wanted to draft. Went back to the Golden Knights, and he ended up with 37 wins. Allmark also had 37. He had a 913, whereas Allmark had a 926. What a year from him. Adam leads defenseman with 80 points, a nice amount of assists. Nearly point a game. Darlene and Doughty both got 71. So yeah, very good year for all these guys here. The Art Ross winner will be Nikita Kucherov with 102. He also got 50 tucks, which looks like it could be a Rocket Richard season for him as well. Matthews got 98 points. Let's see. Goals. Yep. That's a wonderful season at a cooch. The highest face-off percentage was Richie, but he only took nine face-offs. Who took the most face-offs? Okay, so 2,700 from Nuge. Basically the same for Seb and Stamkos. They had pretty good percentages, I suppose. Kachuri, 57. What's his face-off rating? Oh, okay, that checks out. Marcus Foligno wanted to draft him as well. Didn't get around to it, though. Instead, I took Lucic, who... Didn't really fight by the looks of it. I guess to be fair, he didn't really get a lot of ice time. So probably take that into consideration. He also had the most penalty minutes. Jamie Ben up there with 80, Kreider. All right, let's get to the loss. Call me crazy. I'm moving Krejci up to the second line to be reunited with his Boston teammate, Patrice. Yeah, let's try it. Why not? You know what? I'll even one up it. Troy Terry, you're coming down. So that way we get plus five and plus one. He has a five-star shooting category. So although he's not a sniper... Guy can bury the biscuit. So we got a full two-way forward line. I'm sticking to it. 7-2-1 finish for us. A 6-4-0 finish for the Isles. Let's him pass the first four and see if there is a sweep in either direction. Hopefully. Okay, that's a great start for us. Nice. We are sitting pretty. One more dub. One more dub. And we are on to the... Conference semifinals. We got New Jersey. Let's go see what their team is made up of. So they've got Voracek, Sebastian, and Pavel. It's a good first line. Verhegi, Garland, and Gord. So they're kind of lacking abilities here. I really like that third line though. Wow. Capo Caco, Nick Paul, and Zadina. That's nuts. Defensively, they brought back Graves and they got Pulak. Yeah, they have a good defensive core. Well, it's not amazing. It's pretty similar to ours, I guess. That's going to be the issue right there. 92 overall Igor Shesterkin in the cage. Well, I found out why they did so well. It's okay, Pity. We got this. First four games, light work. Let's take it home. Nice. Yep. All right. It is anybody's series at this point. Best of three. Not what I was hoping for. Backs against the wall. We give them a power play literally to start the game. Like that must have been an altercation in warm up or something because I don't think it's possible to take a penalty that fast. But here we are. Power play for the Penguins and we can't capitalize this time. Will it be a scoreless first period? Yes, it is. Let's move on to period number two. Shots are pretty even between the two teams so far. But fourth line goal scoring prevails for New Jersey, but we get some... Second line? I moved him to the second line, right? Or is he still up on the first line? Either way, he scored, tied it up, and now Kane buries one. It is a 2-1 lead for Pittsburgh. Good stuff. All right, let's go into the third up by one. Amazing. Keep it up here, Pity. Yes! Kane scores again! Massive goal. Gives us the insurance marker. Oh, it's done. Bunce gets one. We push to game seven. Absolutely. There's no way they come back from this. All right, well... I will see you guys in the do or die game, which I mean, this was do or die as well, but next game's do or die for both teams. Who will be advancing to the conference finals and taking on the Ottawa Senators by the looks of it there. They took out the Tampa Bay Lightning in six. 
We're out shooting them 7-0 to start off the game. So we came out flying. Couldn't score on Igor, though. Yeah, Yanni Gord buries one. To get New Jersey on the board. They are now on the board twice. That's fine. Exactly, that's what I said. It's fine. Bergeron cuts the lead in half, and it looks like that's what we will have heading into the second. Let's go, lads. We are basically doubling them in shots. Not anymore, but we were for a second there. And Capo Caco scores power play. Kill it off. Okay, we needed that. We needed that power play goal. Oh, man, this is a tall task now. That's a good start, though. Troy Terry. Really? Every time I feel like we're starting to get somewhere... They just pull another inch ahead. Nice. Great start to the third. Great start to the third. Don't give them power plays. What are we doing? Can I get some discipline here, please? That was a long... Did we just get a, like a 10 minute? That was outrageous. They didn't score though. No, so close. There's your three stars. At least we got the first star of the game. It means nothing, but... I'm going to pretend like it does. The Sens are your Stanley Cup champions. And Abbotsford wins the Calder. Very nice. Let's go look at the trophies. Actually, before trophies, we should look at some player stats. And what a playoff it was for Patrice. 18 points in 13 games. Can't blame him. Can't blame Terry, Thompson. I don't really know if you can blame anybody. I feel like everyone had their guy. Netminding, on the other hand. Maybe they did okay as well. Let's see. Goalies. You know what? Yeah. Can't be upset. We just got outplayed by a better team, but it's no one's fault, really. Everyone did their thing. Kata Hat with a 924 save percentage. Goes on to win a Stanley Cup with the Senators. A 223 GAA as well. We also see a 924 down here from Bob, but he played less than half the games. Jabot put up 17 points in 25 games. Fox had 15 in 24. And then we got... Hughes with 14 and 25. Not your Conn Smythe winner because the Jets didn't win the Stanley Cup, but evidently we're in the finals. Kopitar, also not. Vrana, also not. Come on. Is Max Domi going to be the Conn Smythe winner? If they do not award the Conn Smythe to this man right here, I am going to be fuming. So let's find out if I am going to be upset or not. Here are the team trophies, which we... Uh... Okay. Individual trophies. Nikita, I just realized, wait, hold on. Yeah, the Sens won the Stanley Cup and the President's Trophy. That is just illegal. I don't think you can do that. The art and the heart to Cooch. Fox gets the Norris. Cooch also gets the Lady Bing. Quinn with the Calder. My stomach is fuming with me right now. How on this planet did you not give that trophy to Katahat? That is criminal. Allmark gets the Vesna this season, and Kataha gets the Jennings, so at least he got something. Well deserved. Gudis with the Bill Masterton. Vaucler gets the Jack Adams. That kind of sounds like a bougie clothing brand. Bergeron gets the Selkie. We got something. Cooch with the Ted Lindsay and the Rocky Richard. Yeah, he cleaned up at these awards. Oh, I guess it's different because I did a custom league because this isn't normally what we get either. Huh. How about that? Well, anyway... Um, I had fun with that one, to be honest, and our team did really well. That was a money ball draft if I've ever seen it. Truthfully, I feel like I could have gone even lower. You know, like, I took Lucci's at the end there, and I took some contracts that I probably could have gotten a similar player for with less money. So, if we want to even one-up that and try to do even less, and we could even go to the extreme of upping the max salary cap so other teams can just go crazy. I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you've seen Moneyball, let me know what you think of that, because I thought it was a great movie. I've seen it multiple times now, and yeah, um, leave a like, please. That'd be greatly appreciated. Three million and two percent of you are not subscribed. I'm just gonna, like, reset eventually and go back to, like, a hundred something, but anyway, we're here now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.